Thanks for coming today. Just wanted to um, emphasize that we are devastated at the news that House Bill 1177 has once again been delayed and been delayed until uh, September. Um, that's devastating news for the children of Philadelphia, the school district of Philadelphia, and our families. Um, I am trying, probably as you are, to understand more information about what an advance means. Um, if that's just a cash advance, um, which is our, uh, we have no reason to assume that it's anything else, that doesn't resolve a deficit problem. That just provides money that's already coming to us later in the year, earlier in the year. It doesn't do anything to resolve the $81 million budget deficit. So I want to well, once again employ the legislation to come back before August 15th, which is the date that we have been clear about, that we have to make some pretty significant operational decisions, um, operational decisions about how we um, will educate the children of this city. Um, there's still time, and just as um, I did in my conversation with the uh, majority leader earlier this week, talked about the consequences if, in fact, there was no action on cigarettes. And so now we're at this time, today, we understand that it has been canceled. Um, that's just devastating news for us. Uh, Dr. Hay, what are your next steps? I mean, uh, we are getting closer. It's two weeks away now from August 15th about. Yeah, and August 15th, and I've talked about August 15th being a critical day, and for us operationally, it's an extremely important day, and given today's news, it's even more important. And we're going to continue to um, have everything on the table and consider everything on the table, and I don't want to make responses today about what those things will be because there are a whole lot of things that could happen between now and then. And so nothing has changed. August 15th is still a very significant day. We cannot go beyond that day with making decisions about what we will do. And everything remains on the table. Uh, it, the size of our workforce remains on the table. Whether or not we open schools remains on the table. If we shorten the school year, all of those things remain on the table. What do you say to some lawmakers who said they, this made them feel uneasy because to their minds it helped one part of the state, not other school districts struggling across the state? Yeah, I'm not a lawmaker, I'm an educator. And I know and understand what it takes to educate children, particularly the children that we serve here in Philadelphia. And I can't talk about all of the virtues of every piece of legislation that is happening in Harrisburg, but I can say it's extremely important for us to have the resources we need to get back to, and, uh, and to, get back to a fiscal environment that everyone would suggest um, was not substantial enough a year ago. And so it's not it was wholly insufficient um, what we had to do this year. We're trying to get back to that place. Um, and so, and it needs revenue. I'm also, I will also add that uh, the citizens of Philadelphia, the legislators, the, the elected officials here in Philadelphia all supported this. We're not asking for any other place in the state to tax themselves in order to provide more resources for the children of this city. This is Philadelphia asking for the ability to begin a tax that they've already approved. Um, and so, and we're asking for that for the purpose of education. And so I, once again, I employ individuals to come back, approve that legislation, get it to the governor so it can be signed and into place um, prior to August 15th. How optimistic are you that something will be done before August 15th? I mean, it's only two weeks away or so. It's only two weeks away, and, and now here we are again. And here we are again from a year ago when we were talking about not opening simply because we were not getting uh, the revenues that um, we at the time were guaranteed. But um, I have to be optimistic, and I have to be optimistic because we're talking about educating children. Um, it's hard to be optimistic because, you know, several weeks ago we were all celebrating, and we were celebrating that this looked like it was going to pass. And now here we are delayed once again and filled with uncertainty. And once again, it's really important that um, there be some action on this. There's still time. And hopefully uh, the legislative leaders will rethink this and, and get individuals back uh, to consider this legislation. So in advance, whatever the amount, wouldn't really do anything to forestall layoff notices going out on August 15th, is that right? Well, in advance provides money that, uh, that's already built into our budget. 
So you're essentially advancing us money that's already included. We still need $81 million. Um, otherwise, we're operating, we're spending money that we don't have. Um, and it's hard to say on a promise to spend money we don't have um, that we can pay, pay people, we can provide services for children. And so I don't know what that advance means. If, in fact, it is advancing money that is already allocated to the school district of Philadelphia, um, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't help us. And so I'd be very interested to hear um, either from the legislative leaders who made this recommendation or from the governor's office, what does that mean? Is it more money um, or is it an advancement of money just earlier in the year? What if it was uh, advancing and then you pay back, I guess, future cigarette tax proceeds? Would that make a difference? But once again, that's, okay. uh, we've always talked about not spending any money that we don't have. And we don't have that money now. It's not legislation. It's just a promise. And it's hard to say that, you know, your next paycheck will be based on a promise. Um, and we may get it or may not get it. And so that becomes very difficult for us. Dr. Hay, just a personal reaction. I mean, were you, were you caught off guard by this cancellation today? Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed, disappointed, uh, and frustrated. And frustrated because we're at a point two weeks before we have to make some decisions, operational decisions, to educate children. We're trying to educate children. Um, and I'm annoyed that, once again, this is in somebody else's hands and someone else is making the determination for what we do here in Philadelphia to serve our children. I mean, it's frustrating. And it's frustrating as you try to educate the young people of the city that, once again, for whatever reason, it's taken for granted that we can make do without the resources we need. But the, I heard the cash advance uh, piece, as you've heard it. Uh, we don't know what that means, and, and we don't, and, and that, I need more clarification on what that is. At the moment, we have no idea what that is. But I will emphasize, if in fact it is sending us money that is already in their budget earlier in the year, that does not solve the problem. A second ago, you said 81 million. You mean the district still needs 93, right? No, it's 81 million because remember the governor in the budget that was approved, there was 12 million put okay. back in that. So that's, the, that's where the 81 million number is coming from. Yeah. Okay. Is, it, is it less likely as we speak today that schools will open on time? Well, I don't see any way possible that without additional revenue that we will be able to open on time. And so it is, but I don't want to make that, I don't want to conclude that today, but at the moment um, it, it's not, uh, I'm not very optimistic that we can if, in fact, we don't get additional revenue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone.